Hello everyone. In this video, we will do some examples for properties of probability measure. Let's start with the first one. The probability that a particular student will get more than 6 in the quiz 2 is equal to uh, 0 0.8. So here we have an event uh, where, where the student gets more than uh, 6 and based on the information given in the question we have probability of this event is equal to 0 0.8 now the question asks for what is the probability that the student uh, gets um, at most 6 well here one thing that you have to see is that at most 6 is complement of more than 6 so basically we are looking for probability of E complement and we know by the properties of a probability measure uh, that is 1 minus probability of E, which is 1 minus 0 0.8, and that is 0 0.2. So probability of the that student getting at most 6 is going to be 0 0.2. Okay, let's do another example here. Probability of... Um, Okay, we have two events, E and F. We are looking for probability of union. And the question gives us what is probability of each one and the intersection. Well, that's just the formula we had up there. Probability of E plus probability of F minus probability of intersection. And well, probability of E is 0.3 probability of S is 0 0.5 and then probability of intersection is 0 0.2 that gives me 0 0.8 minus 2 is 0 0.6 the next example is similar so we have two events and we are looking for the probability of union but this time we know that E and F are mutually exclusive so it means what? Mutually exclusive means that the intersection is empty set and that means the probability of the intersection is equal to zero. And well, if you're using the, inter the, the probability for the union formula, then you don't need to be worried about that subtracting probability of intersection. So it just be like that. And well, here the information is given, and we just add those ones, and the probability of the union of E and F is going to be equal to 0 0.8. And the last example, uh, we have a sample space A, B, C, D, uh, and we know some information here. What we so note that in questions like this, by probability of an a sample point we mean probability of the set which contains that sample point only and now it is going to be this one is 0 0.2 probability of b is 0 0.3 and probability of c is 0. So how we are going to find probability of D? One thing that we know is that probability of S is equal to 1. And we know that A, B, C, D is a partition of all possible outcomes, yes. So in other words, the they are mutually exclusive and their union is equal to s in other words let me just write it like that probability of s is going to be probability of each one of these guys i should write and there probability of 
Now, I know that probability of S is uh, 1, probability of A is 0 0.2, probability of B is 0 0.3, probability of C is 0 0.15, and probability of D is what we are looking for. Now, everything is known but probability of D, so you, we can add them and we, you see that probability, this is 0 0.65, 1 plus probability of D, and that will tell me that probability of D is 1 minus 0 0.65, which is 0 0.35. So we use the fact that probability of S is 1 and probability and, and the, the sample points are mutually exclusive and they form the whole possible outcomes there, yes? Okay, so these were some examples for the properties of uh, probability measure.